<laughs> uh, doing a video on the specs for this bill. Uh, yeah, I'll make a YouTube video on this bill, bro. I got you. I got you. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's your boy. I'm back at it with another video, man. First and foremost, shout out to everybody who got the Cell Squad merch, man, for Halloween. Appreciate y'all. Also, to everybody that got the hats, man, you know. You know what I'm saying? You already, you already know. You already know. But listen, look, man. Y'all know why I'm here. A lot of people been hitting me up in the comment section of my YouTube videos. A lot of people been uh, DMing me on Facebook. A lot of people been whispering me on Twitch asking, yo, we need a versatile paint beast. What's going on? Where's the build video? Where's the creation? You're not going to hold these secrets from us too much longer. So listen, listen, I'm sorry. I don't want no beef. I got y'all. Please bear with me. Okay. But first off, hit that like button, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. I've been making YouTube videos for quite a while. I know if your finger worked to click this video, I know your finger worked to click that like button, bro. First thing you gotta do, change your whole system to metric system, right? I know you guys don't probably know what that is. If y'all do, great. But it's in my last video. I'm not going to do it today. Go to features, go to settings, change your, your uh, unit system to metric and all that. All right. But look, let's talk about this versatile paint beast for a moment. Now, I'm not going to go into the builder just yet to show y'all what it is. I'm going to show y'all what mines look like right now. I made this build as a rebirth build, which means it was a automatically a 90 overall. It automatically had 30 um plus badges, which I had the four from college and one from hitting level 39 in the last season. So as far as season prizes go, I'm already a level 29 for season two, which means I only got to hit 11 more levels and I get the skeleton mascot legitly. And I'm gonna let y'all know now, as far as my XP coins go, I didn't have any coming into the new season and I haven't used any of the ones that I've earned from this season. So with this big, I am a beast. I get a lot of rep inside a wreck. You know what I'm saying? And it's really hard for people to stop me, man. Now, as far as my takeovers go, I change them a lot. So sometimes I go double paint intimidation. Sometimes I go double glass. Sometimes I go paint intimidation with glass cleaning doms or box wall out. And I always use the accelerator perk. I don't use any other perk. This build is to get rebounds, block, scoring the paint, and get team takeover for my guys. All right, that's what this build is for. It ain't it ain't nothing flashy, it ain't nothing crazy, but let's talk about these animations real fast. As far as my jump shot goes, I use jump shot three with Rudy uppers, okay? Jump shot three with Rudy uppers. I know y'all probably gonna be like, yo, let me let me see that, John. Let me see that, John. I got y'all, bro. I got y'all. All right, let me see, man. All right, I'm shot three. All right, so this is what it looked like. That's what the jump shot looked like. It's not nothing too crazy. It's pretty fast though. You know what I'm saying? And, and it green, 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 greens. Trust me, all right? Now, uh, let's see, let's leave that. Let's go back to the animations and go to my dunk style. Now, I call this the ugly dunk style because I really don't got much to it, okay? I do not use any two foot dunks at all. Oh, I do not like using two foot dunks mainly because it's too much of a load up. And I'm gonna tell you now, when you use two uh, foot dunks and you're using the uh, analog to aggressive dunk, people see you dunking a mile away so they can recover and try to possibly block you. So I don't like using them. Now I do use quick drops off one. Now I rarely ever get a chance to dunk with this package only if I'm high screening at the hash and I cut down this is the only time that this dunk package really triggers. Most of the time, I am dunking from standing, okay? Now, as far as standing dunks go, I don't do regular that much. I don't know why. Um, regular just doesn't equip, and like I told you, I don't use two hands, all right? I never use two hand dunks. It's just, I don't I don't know, man. Something about two hand dunks be scaring me, bro. Like, it's like it take more time for you to load up. And, and plus, um, for some reason, 
the animations you get, man, people just come over and just block those two hand dunks so fast. But as far as one hand under the basket joints, they do trigger sometimes, but most of the time, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man, these elite rim pulls, you never should get them, all right? Mainly because they got too many back scratchers in the package, and when it's three or four people jumping at you, you don't wanna use this package, all right? So I got pro under the basket rim pulls. This has about maybe one uh, package that has one dunk that's an actual back scratcher, and it doesn't really equip much, all right? But that's the ones that you wanna go with. Now, as far as athletic, I know what y'all thinking. Bro, why you don't got no athletic packages? Because they, they all get blocked. All the athletic ones get blocked. They, they're trash, they're trash, okay? But let's talk about these uh contact dunks. I'm telling y'all, the contact dunks are the ones that I really get a lot. Um, mainly because you're gonna see like my my attributes for dunking is crazy. All right now the elite standing like The elite standing is not really elite standing like if you notice you have to take off from a certain point All right, a lot of people don't realize that pressing square at a certain point gets you these uh, Contacts like that one right there. I do that a lot because I be under the rim but I'm telling you, if y'all stand outside the restricted area sometimes and you pull back on that trigger, bruh, people get, they get murdered down there. You hear me? And, and also, when you do pull the trigger from outside the restricted area to dunk on people, I'm telling you, the animation takes a little bit longer to come around for you to get it the excellent. When you're under the rim, it's super fast. Like, I'm telling you, the circle closed real fast when, when it's under the, under the rim. But when you're outside that restricted area, bro, dead bodies, bro. I'm telling you, dead bodies, man. All right, but let's go ahead and uh check out the build now. Just to let you guys know, low disclaimer, go talk to ATM about the rebirth. If you do not talk to ATM outside of Club 2K, you are losing. That's how you get the um, spawn locations. That's how you get to take your shirt off in the park for twos. Like it's a lot of things that ATM has that a lot of us want to do. All right. So um, of course the position is center. Um, you're handing this in your jersey number. None of that matters. You can do whatever you want with that. But this is what matters: your height, your weight, your wingspan, and your body shape. I always say go with built mainly because you feel like more of a force down there as well as it just looks doper when it's a strong person in the paint you know what i'm saying going crazy just imagine shack being down there you know what i'm saying i ain't talking about fat shack i'm talking about just you know what i'm saying shack shack you feel me but uh let's go ahead and continue now as far as all the attributes that i have um i put a lot of stake into finishing and defensive as you guys can see i got 36 badges for uh defensive and 31 for finishing now i only have 11 for shooting but if you guys remember every single season we will be able to unlock one attribute point which means by the time i get done my build will have more shooting um his playmaking is totally fine i only need like one more playmaking badge and i'll tell you guys about that in a second and defensive badges i need maybe two more so we got like what like a total of nine seasons this build is going to be crazy by the time it's all over. Also, just to let you guys know, if you remember earlier, you seen more finishing potentials that I had available. And that's because I put five badges in finishing and I'll tell you why. So check it out. Let's talk about finishing for a moment, right? Back down punisher, drop stepper, fast twitch, fearless finisher, grace under pressure, limitless takeoff, mouse in a house. Post spin technician, posterizer, unstrippable, rise up, put back boss, all great badges. All badges that you will need on this build to be a absolute problem in the paint that a lot of people can't stop. All right. Now, if you go in and you look at all of the badges that they have and what their abilities are and everything like that and what they have to offer, you'll understand why. But what I actually did was I wanted to make sure that my attribute points were at a certain level so I could have certain badges. So if I take my close shot down, just one, you notice grace under pressure comes off a of goal. So that's why that's on 84. Post control. If I take my post control down a certain level, back down punisher won't be available. You know what I'm saying? Also, other things changed when I took my post control down. So there's a lot about this build that it needs these, these things in order to have certain badges. So that's why I have them. 
And I know what the biggest problem on this page is. A lot of y'all are probably like, bruh, why don't you have any three pointer? It's because I don't need it. When I'm playing with certain people, we have four other shooters on the court. Everybody on the court can shoot. The person that I want to be, I want to be the person that brings the collapse to the paint. If you notice, there are a lot of ways that people play. They play five out. They play uh, high screens on a hash with the point guard in the center. Some people play four out one in. Uh, a lot of people play the wraps with the shooting guard while the center sits in and set screens and, and occasionally cuts. Um, people send backdoor cuts. They send cuts from the hash while the point guard is up top working. It's a lot of different ways people play. But the biggest threat about all of this is having somebody in a paint that can score at will and having people collapse to that person because they think they can get a steal off of them. That's what it's all about. Every player, every guard, every every guard you see running around here, whenever the center touched the ball, nine times out of 10, they're going to run to the center and try to spam steal because they think that they can get a steal off. All right. Now, this is why my ball handle is at 50. This build does get unpluckable on bronze, which means I'll get at least an animation, a visual cue that I can see that lets me know that a guard is near. All right, because most of the time, let's be honest, we're looking at our my players. So if I'm looking at my my player in the post and I'm trying to get some work off and a certain animation happens to my player. And I know all of the animations because I had a power forward before. So when I see an animation happening, all I do is look like, oh, hold on. His animation is a little off. So I just go ahead and kick it out to the corner, kick it back up top. You know what I'm saying? Or I throw a lob to a backdoor person because I could throw lobs out the paint with post playmaker. Or I could just throw them, period, because guess what? My pass accuracy is at 85. This is a versatile paint beast because he's so versatile in passing the ball. I can get Hall of Fame break starter and I can get gold bullet passes. The two badges that are vital for r1l1 and guess what even if r1l1 isn't working i have gold bullet pass which means when if the ball ever comes to me the kick is immediate if i cut down in a lane and i see people crash into the lane after a cut <laughs> easy dot literally touch passes bullet passer on gold is needed on almost every build if you don't have gold bullet passer on your build i advise you to remake your build and i'm talking all positions if you don't have gold bullet passer you are losing that badge is one of the most important badges in this game okay as far as defense go i know i went overkill 95 interior 98 block but i'm telling you if i go take my block down right peep this see how my rim protector changes i don't i don't know if y'all noticed that I'm gonna, I'm gonna hover over it so y'all can see if i go down to a 97 it's gonna cost six badge points to put rim protector on hall of fame so when it's on 98, it only costs five. So you know I'm saying shout out to some of the homies that was with me in the stream while I was creating it because they was helping me out low key. You know what I'm saying some of these badges, they cost a lot. They cost a lot. So you got to be weary of what you're doing. You know what I mean? Also for, I believe it was brick wall. I needed to have a certain type of interior defense, which was a 95. You know what I'm saying? You need a 95 to get that brick wall on Hall of Fame. Now, I know some people only use brick wall on silver. A lot of us watch NBA 2K Labs and all that. But sometimes I want to be our overkill. Like, sometimes I just want to try things out, especially when I have a 65 strength. I just want to try things out. And if they work for me, I'm keeping them that way because this is my game. I know that there are channels out there that talk about metas and, and, and what you should have and, and what works and what you don't have to go this much further, but doesn't it feel good to be able to do what the fuck you want to do when you want to do it? And can't nobody tell you shit about it because you like the way your player play when you put the overkill shit on. That's how I am. And I'm going to tell you right now, I love my overkill. You know what I'm saying? I love my overkill. Now, let's talk about the shooting badges for a moment. I get blinders. I get green machine. I get hot zone hunter. And I get sniper. That's really all the badges you need to hit any mid-range. You know what I'm saying? Any 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 mid-range you want to take, 
those are the badges that you need. I don't need dead eye. I don't need difficult shots. I don't even need fadies. And, and the funny thing is about this build, this can be a fading build if I wanted it to. I can turn this build into a fading build at will. But let me be clear. This probably wouldn't be a fading demon until maybe about season four of 2K because I would need more badge points to put Fade Ace on with Blinders, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, and Sniper. And honestly, I only need Sniper on Silver. So let's see, I'll probably put, let me see. You'll need three badges. So right now I got 11. So it's gonna cost me 12 just to put all of that on. So season two, I'll have Blinders, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, and Sniper all on silver. So when season three and season four come, that's when I'll come over to Fade Ace. You know what I'm saying? See, I, listen, my mind works with the seasons and how many attribute points 2K is going to be giving us when they're giving us these one points every season. Because that's what they're going to end up doing. Because remember, if you notice, when you used to hit Legend, they used to give you a bonus of, of uh, attribute points towards your player so you can get new badges. And that's all it is. They're giving it to us in season. So that's how I work out my stuff. You know what I mean? Now, I know what you guys are thinking, bro. We've been here for so long. I have to let y'all know about my builds in detail. And this is why I make my videos that way. I know that you guys want to see gameplay for it. You want to see, you want to see if I can really do this with this build. So what I'll do is I'll put a few clips in this video. Yo. Yeah. Did the tray ever hit 40? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, my son Triangle is. Help me, help me, help me. It is someone for us, bro. Got you. Thank you. Oh no, I won L once. What happened? Beat the fuck that was out last me. game. Wrong person. It probably reset. Like some shot. Oh. Ooh. I'm pushing it. Mm -hmm. Bro, I don't even know what jump shot that is. Thanks. What the fuck kind of language is that? I don't know. What build you thought I was, bro? Language of a person. It made me ghost contest. On foul. Board. Sorry, bro. Sorry, that's my first board. <laughs> Banger. Yo, what is that? What Let's is this? Do it, man. We don't know, man. Don't know, <laughs> my, listen, my my like? my jaw frozen, so I can't see no feedbacks. Yeah, I can't see no feedback either. Oh All right, reset. You're good. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I realized that they start playing side, so I yeah. said I'm gonna slip that one. No, don't switch off your man. Don't switch off your man. Next time I'm stripping bitch mm -hmm. ass. Give me that. Ah. Uh. Good defense, uh -huh. boy. Mm -hmm. Got you. Dude ain't got fast twitch. Nah, nah, I don't know. I don't know what this boy got. I know, like, if for some reason I could kind of tell what animation look like it's going to come. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. If it look kind of weird. They need to start saying you some skinny bitch ass nigga. Damn. Oh, shit, you did too much. Hey. Hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> hey, bro. Take fast enough. That's all I try to drop. Next cut. Hey. Appreciate it. But I'm going to just show you. I'm going to just show you. Nice out to you. You Actually, like that? You like that? Moving screens hit different, boy. Crazy, ain't it? Um. 
No, man. I'm playing with you, bro. Bob that. Of course. Ooh, what I the? thought you missed it. What the? Oh, they Damn. Oh. Let me guess. The guard, the guard. The guard of, yeah. Couldn't deal with it no more. Ooh, that AI on ass. Sorry, I didn't know what she was doing. That AI is on acid <laughs> right there. Trying to get Damn, bro. Damn. Uh, do y'all all get live video interrupted? Nah, I ain't get that. Okay. Sure. This AI is on everything. Damn, you jumped at that? Ooh, gang. How is he supposed to know? I just want to know you can't shoot a damn three. Huh? Oh, he, like, this three is a, is a 25. Yeah, like, like, it's not even a chance. My bad, bro. I told Carter to try to get like a 50 or 60. He said 50, 60. Shit ain't gonna matter. <laughs> I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even try to get a 50. I wouldn't even try to get a 50. Bro. <laughs> I ain't put, I'm telling you, 50. Yeah, I know you're not that guy for real. Unless you think you good. Come on, man. I knew he was going to shoot the game. I know you've been wanting that the whole time. Give me that. <laughs> I just want this to be over, right? Nope. I don't want it to be over. I'm here for all the fun. Yeah, I think I get brick wall on Yo, board. get out of here, dude. Look Damn. at him. Oh, that means I'm free. See ya. Sorry, I buddy. can't believe you made that. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't either. That's a rim protector with his badge. Yeah, for him. I can't believe you You actually shot that. For him. I wouldn't recommend doing that again. For him. Bitch, yeah, Neil. No, I didn't see him. Brian. You sold my sis. You sold all the rub. You sold yourself. Ooh, you made it.